Hi, I'm Michael Sitar. Uh, I work as a business manager for Teledyne Optech, uh, and we are a laser and camera manufacturer. So we manufacture sensors for mapping, uh, usually at serve grade, survey grade accuracies, and we have a number of product portfolios which include the airborne division, uh, we have the mobile division, we have a bathymetric and marine division, and we also have a static division. Um, this particular product is a airborne sensor that we've recently released called the Galaxy. Um, it's a uh, high sampling frequency system that's installed in aircraft, has a gyro stabilized mount, and uses a programmable scanner to get, provide maximum point density on the ground. This particular sensor is used specifically for topographic and wide area mapping applications as well as high resolution, high precision corridor mapping. Um, we also have recently announced a multispectral scanner which uses, which is the world's first uh, use of active wavelengths in a variety of wavelength configurations which allow us to provide extra metadata in an active uh, sensor design. So that allows us to uh, use that particular sensor in a day or night application uh, to collect uh, underwater information, high resolution topographic information, but also um, the ability to do, move towards multispectral analysis uh, day or night. Um, some of the other products we offer include um, a seas mill product called uh, it's used for bathymetry and that particular product is a high performance environmental mapping system which is combined with a hyperspectral scanner. We also do mobile mapping from which our Lynx uh, product is used. Uh, it provides very high accuracy, high precision, dense data for transportation and corridor uh, using uh, moving platforms on the ground. And uh, in addition to that, we have cavity monitoring systems and static tripod sensors. Um, since we've now are also a camera manufacturer, we also produce uh, both thermal, uh, infrared, um, RGB, and uh, multispectral cameras that are then combined with our LiDAR sensors to create a sensor suite uh, for specific application requirements. Uh, so much of our time is spent um, generating new survey products to be able to generate that spatial information which is then transferred into the GIS environment.